Hi, this is John Swarstrom back with you, and the next part we're going to be talking about is microclustering. Okay, now, uh, water molecules group in clusters of 15, 20, even 100 parts per cluster. And what happens is the Kong machine is actually able to break these water molecule clusters down so that there are about six parts per cluster. Now, I like to relate this to baseball. If you threw baseballs at a chain link fence, not many of the baseballs are going to make it through. But if you threw marbles at a chain link fence, a lot of the marbles are going to make it through. Now, the, the marbles represents the Kong and water, and the baseballs represents uh, regular water, and the fence represents the cells of your body. So we're going to be actually demonstrating you the microclustering in the water, and I've got some tea here. Let me grab a couple tea bags out of, out of this uh, box. And uh, we're going to take these uh, tea bags. This is Yamamoto green tea and uh, got one tea bag there and another tea bag right here okay and what we're going to do is we're going to take the common water and we are going to pour it into this cup here okay like so there is the common water and here we have the tap water and we're going to put a little bit of tap water in here okay now you can already see what's happening to the water Okay, you can see that the common water is actually changing colors of the tea bag. Now, the reason is because of the smaller water molecule clusters is able to penetrate the tea bag and pull that tea out and making the tea. Okay, and I can actually show you this by grabbing these two tea bags. Okay, you can see how much darker this is. And what's great about this is when you have the common water, you can actually take your tea bag now, bring it over to another cup. And when you add the water, you got instant tea, okay? And you can make glass of tea after glass of tea just with one tea bag, okay? This guy over here is a little confused, right? So, but if we're actually gonna take him now and add the Kangen water to the tea, you can see we're actually able to make tea. And that's very important because with the Kangen water, you're getting a 300% better absorption. Once you drink it, it takes about 60 seconds to hit your brain. So the, because of the better penetration, you're able to detoxify the cells and hydrate the cells a lot better. That's part, uh, next part we'll be talking about some ORP.